everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me with another real-time edit. Today I have this rough-looking American goldfinch. It was taken um, kind of like mid to end of September here in southern New Jersey, and uh, they're definitely not in their full winter plumage yet, so they're just kind of rough-looking. Anyway, it was a fun shot in the thistle with these pops of uh, the purple flowers all around it, so start out with a crop. I don't want to crop this as much as I normally would because I do love these colors out there but I guess I'll just remove that one little spot up there all right so exposure up overall shadows up blacks down for contrast I'm gonna drop a radial on this and then just darken the outside just a little bit bring attention a little bit more into the bird there and then I think the rest can all happen in Photoshop so um, I could maybe do a little bit more burning on that in Lightroom just to get some more detail back in the purple, but I think there's enough there for me to just get it back in, um, in Photoshop here. Uh, so first things first, start with a retouch layer. I'm just going to clone out or just soften up like that light spot up there. And maybe just that one behind the bird's head there. Just kind of smooth that out. So add a layer mask to it and then bring it back in. Just make sure I'm accurate along the edge there. There we go. Nice and easy. Just kind of outline that. Oops, too far. And there we go. Just got rid of that one little distraction off the top of the head there. Nice. All right. Uh, now I'll do some burning. And I'm going to definitely just darken that whole area this whole area that I really want to get more purple in it so darkening that kind of richens that color up um, over here just a little bit darker that purple pop can just go down a little bit and then a little bit of burn up there seems to do the trick maybe along this top edge again just and that flower all right that's looking pretty good just hit a couple more spots here and then I'll do a dodge layer just kind of lighten up the bird itself um, you, I don't know if you can notice but there's definitely also some kind of green kicking in on the bird here uh, let me kick his catch light first so I'll do another dodge layer just for that whoa too far back off of it and then I'm losing contrast in here because I was definitely shooting through some foliage so I'm gonna do another curves layer drop that black point and then just paint it back in around the eye there and then probably hit this dark area down there and then yeah like I said it's just a little green so another curves layer just pull some green out of it and then just softly paint some of that in on the bird to give it more of that yellowish color that it really has and I think that about does it oops with the bird so yeah from that to that is on just the bird there's my total before and after real quick and easy edit on this one all right, let's get back to Lightroom, check out the total before and after. And while I'm waiting for that to happen, just a reminder, if you want to learn a little bit more about this, hop on over to my website, rayhennessy.com. Check out the um, online workshops and mentorship options, and you can learn all about this in detail. And I'll certainly slow down when I teach you. All right, here we go. Total before and after. Nothing major, but look at that. Look how much more the bird stands out here than it does here, right? Uh, these flowers are all just brighter and the bird's a little bit dull there and lacking color. And then it all kind of reverses here. So yes, the purple and flower, um, out of focus flowers are still, you know, vivid, but they're just not as bright overall. And I think, and, and mainly the bird is brighter. Uh, so that stands out a little bit more. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.